Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and today I'd like to do a commentary slash reaction video on part 6 of the Childish Dad commentary slash reaction videos made by, of course, the real Random Blasey, who does these Childish Dad videos and the Karen videos as well as a bunch of other pretty funny videos, and I actually watch almost all of them. <laughs> And I'm actually one of her subscribers. I subscribe to her channel because her videos are just too funny. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. And the first video I'm going to be reacting to, which I'm actually going to be continuing on from, is Childish Dad Goes to Work. I'm continuing on from this video from Part 5 because toward the end of Part 5, my camera cut off at the, after the 22 minute mark because after a certain amount of 20 minutes, my camera will just cut it off, so... Like, cut off completely. I don't know why. Because it can only record, like... Because it can't... It can only record up to, like, a certain 20 minutes. I don't know why. But anyways, um... So without further ado, we will continue reacting to Childish Dad Goes to Work. Then do the other... The other two videos. Because we have two other videos I'm going to react to. So anyways, let's continue on from this. But until you can learn to behave like a grown man... You are officially fired. Yes, you Go are officially now, fired. Grown up, I may consider hiring you again. Man, I can't believe it. I got fired on my first day. This sucks. Warrior. God, what an immature weirdo. Yeah, what an immature weirdo. Too much of an immature weirdo to be hired. <laughs> what was I even thinking? Hiring him. Well, you should have thought better, Mr. Boss Man, because you got to be careful who you hire, because... You don't want to hire the bad people because then all hell breaks all hell breaks loose. And Dave comes home. Dave, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at work. I got fired. Oh, is that so? Is that what so? Did you do to get fired? Nothing. I didn't do anything. My boss is just a meeting who fired me for no reason. Oh sure. You got fired for no reason. Well, I don't believe you, so you better tell me the truth. Why did you get fired? Okay, I'll tell you the truth since you're probably going Please to force do, it out of Dave. me anyway. I was watching Barney the Dinosaur instead of doing my work and simply... Barney the Dinosaur. Work. Oh, for crying out loud. You see, this is why your childish behavior needs to stop. Exactly. It's because of this behavior that you can't keep a job. I am very disappointed in you. Can I please watch Barney the Dinosaur? Absolutely not. All right, next video we got is Childish Dad is a two fake, and this is gonna be kind of a shorter video because I only have three videos I'm gonna be reacting to. Reacting to, excuse me. I apologize if I'm messing up on my on my words or if I um, sound like I have a speech impediment. It's because um, last week I had a tooth implant done, so. And I have stitches in my mouth, so I do apologize if I'm if I stumble or if I'm if I sound toned down or or if I'm just or I sound or if I sound like I have a speech impediment. I do apologize. I just want to let you know I had a tooth implant, so that's kind of why. So if I sound funny, if I sound excited, there there goes the stumbling on my words again. So if I sound funny, I apologize in advance. Alright, next video is Childish Dad's a Toothache. And I figure I'd react to this video. I figure, I figure it's the appropriate video to, re video to react to. Because since, since I had a tooth implant done, why not? Because, I mean, what can go wrong in this video? Dave just has a toothache. If you have a toothache, go to the dentist go to the dentist and get it taken care of. Otherwise, you're going to be in pain for a long time. So, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, for crying out loud. What's the matter with you now, Dave? I got a toothache. I see. Dave well, a toothache? do you want me to ring the dentist so that they can have a look at it? Please do ring the dentist, Catherine, because... Because you got to see a dentist if you're in this much pain. That's enough to send you there. No. And why not? Yeah, and why not? 
and why not? So that you can scream in pain all night and lose all your teeth? <laughs> because I am terrified of the dentist. Now listen here, Dave. If what a baby! He's terrified of the dentist. <laughs> It's actually funny that a grown-ass man is terrified of the dentist. Well, you don't really need to be terrified of a dentist unless you're little. I mean, little kids are terrified of a dentist, but over time, they get used to it. If you don't go and see the dentist about your toothache, then it could get worse, and you don't want that, do you? Exactly. That's why if you have a toothache, it might be a cavity, and you got to get it filled, or else you're not going to have any teeth. <laughs> no, but I'm still scared. Look, Dave, scary I know cat, scary cat. the sooner you see the dentist about this, the better. Now, I am going to call them and see if they can squeeze you in. Please, no. I beg of you, don't let me go to the scary dentist. Oh, you son of a bitch too vague. Why must you make me suffer like this? Son Hello, of, son of a bitch dentist. too vague. I would like to make an appointment <laughs> for my husband, Dave Johnson. Yes, he has a toothache, okay? Oh, Johnson's his last name? Interesting. So we finally get their last names revealed. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. All right, mister, you have... Thank you so much. Yeah. That's one of Catherine's... Another one of Catherine's best lines, her happiest lines. I have an appointment with the dentist today at 1 p.m. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did you have to betray me like that? You know dentists terrify me. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. Look, do you want your toothache to get better or not? Well, yes, but... No, but, mister, you are going to see the dentist and getting this toothache fixed, because I'm not having you keeping the whole house up all night with you screaming <laughs> in pain. Okay. Exactly, we don't... <laughs> exactly, we don't want the whole house being kept awake with you screaming. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to accept my fate, ain't I? Oh, stop being so dramatic, all the... Please do accept your fate, Dave. What <laughs> will want to do is see what is causing your tooth to hurt and then do something to help it. Now, we've got another four hours before your appointment, so why don't you try taking some painkillers to help ease the pain? Later that day at the dentist. So, Mr. Johnson, I understand that you are suffering with a toothache. Am I correct? Please, don't hurt me. Have mercy on my poor, innocent soul. Yes, Dr. Richard. My husband does have a toothache. I see. Okay, Mr. Johnson, are you going to let me take a look at that tooth of yours? See what's Please causing do. it to hurt? No. Stay away from me, you demonic dentist. Dave, stop being silly and let the... <laughs> demonic dentist. <laughs> nice dentist, take a look at your tooth. It's quite all right, Mrs. Johnson. I do with patients like this on a daily basis. I'm pretty much used to it. Well, I bet none of your patients that acted like this were grown adults. Well, not really, but rest assured, I do know how to handle this kind of thing. Well, all right, I guess. Hey, Dave, I would like you to meet Mr. Teddy. Oh, wow. Teddy Bear. Bear. It's so cute. Can I keep him? I'm sorry, but you can't since he is my personal assistant. However, Mr. Teddy would really like Keith, and he would love it if you could show him yours. Wait a minute. This is a trick, isn't it? You're using that stud bear to get me to show you my teeth. Well, it ain't happening, bud. Oh, dang. Guess that didn't work. No, nope, it clearly out, didn't Dave, work. Just let the damn dentist look at your tooth so that he can see what's Please wrong. Please do, Dave. But I'm scared. Why? Look, buddy, you don't have to be scared. All I want to do is take a look at the tooth that is hurting so that I can figure out what's wrong. But I don't want my teeth to be pulled out. Dave, stop it. Stop it. Look, <laughs> I promise you that your teeth are not going to be pulled out. I just want to take a look at the tooth that is causing you pain. That is all. Well, you're going to have to catch me first. <laughs> catch me first! <laughs> Dave, come back here at once. Get back here, Dave! <laughs> I'll go get him. <laughs> and we don't get to see the part where Dave, the dentist, goes to get Dave. <laughs> Too funny, though. Okay. Last video, Childish Dad, and this is the newest video to be Childish Dad video to be released is Childish Dad's Bedtime Story. Here you go, Dave. All touching now. Do you feel comfortable enough? 
Yes, thank you. Comfy one thing, aren't right. you, Dave? Well, you get a good night's sleep. You have a busy day ahead of you tomorrow. I will be up in a couple of hours. Hey, Catherine, can I ask you something? Yes, Dave, what is it? Would you fetch me my teddy bear, please? Sure, I'll go and get in right now for you. Oh, yeah. My favorite teddy bear, Sir Knuckles. Here is your teddy Ooh, bear, Ooh, Sir Dave. Knuckles, nice name. Thank you, Catherine. Well, is there anything else that you need? Oh, will you read me a bedtime story? You did promise me that you would read me one tonight. Bedtime story? Well, okay, how about I tell you one that I came up with myself? Really, what's going to be the bedtime story? Oh, yes, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. All and right. we got the signature Once muscles, time, flexing the muscles. There was a handsome and strong prince named Dave. Hey, he has the same name as me. And he lived in a magical kingdom with the beautiful princess Catherine. Well, what do you know? The princess also has the same name as you. Although, despite being big and strong, the prince Dave was very, very immature and childish. Very immature and childish indeed. He wouldn't get his own way. Man, what a spoiled brat. Someone should teach him how to act like a grown man. Says the person who's also spoiled and, and, and doesn't act like a grown man. And Princess Catherine was always annoyed by Prince Dave's childish attitude. He was so childish that it made two local children from the kingdom look mature. And those two children happened to be the children of Prince Dave and Princess Catherine. Their names were Brian and Emma. Oh my god. Those are the names of our kids. Wait a minute. Are these characters based on this family? Just let me finish, please, Dave. Anyway, but I'm pretty sure that it is based on the family. Twelve years old Brian and ten years old Emma were way more mature than what their father was. One day, when it was breakfast time, Dave discovered that there was a fun fair coming to the kingdom, and he was eager to go to it. Unfortunately, Catherine said no, as it was too expensive. So in a fit of rage, he stood upon his chair and began to cry and wave his big muscular arms in the air before proceeding to throw his bowl of porridge against the wall. <laughs> Dave doing Dave doing his signature, waving his arms in the air like a gorilla. <laughs> Too funny. Wow, that guy seems to have anger issues. Angered by this, Catherine told Dave to go to his chambers for a timeout, but Dave angrily refused and proceeded to throw himself to the floor in a tantrum. Catherine proceeded to roll her eyes as she watched her big, strong, muscular husband kicking and screaming on the floor yard to not getting his own way yet again. Hang on a minute, this is starting to sound very familiar. Finally after having enough, Catherine decided that she was going to physically take Dave to his chambers for a timeout. Ooh. And despite being smaller than he was, she was able to pick him up and carry him to his chambers before proceeding to throw him in there as his tantrum continued. Hey, wait a minute. This story is based on me, isn't it? It Once is. in his chambers, Dave continued with his tantrum until Catherine came barging in and screamed, Stop it! Stop Terrified it. <laughs> by her outburst, Dave curled I up in a ball and cried like a baby whilst sucking his thumb and vowed never to throw tantrums and that. Does Dave actually suck his thumb or is it in, in... Does Dave actually suck his thumb in these videos or is that just a made-up story? I'm pretty sure it's a made-up... I'm pretty sure him sucking his thumb is a made-up story because I've never seen him actually do it in any of the videos. It'd be funny if he did, though. It's like a big baby ever again. The end. Well, I'm going to go downstairs now. I'll be up in a couple of hours. Good night, Dave. Water. I can't believe she made up a story about me. Water. Oh wow, writes a story about it. Of course she made up a story about you <laughs> to get you to be quiet, Dave. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, there you have it. That's the end of the Childish Stack commentary slash reaction videos for part 6. More will be in the f come in the future, as always. And anyways, I will end my video, he I will end my video here. I hope you enjoy this video. And just, sorry. I hope what I meant to say was I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.